Hey everyone, what's up? Spartan G Gaming here. I'd like to start off if I can by saying a massive thank you to all my subscribers who find the time of the day to watch and support my videos on the channel. It really, as always, means a lot to me, guys, so thank you so much for putting up with me. Today, I'm going to be trying to help you unlock the gold leopard and gold cheated camos for the US shovel. Now, obviously, the shovel is a melee weapon, and to be honest, I find all melee weapons reasonably easy to complete all the camos for. And I know a lot of you watching have already probably completed all the camos and you've unlocked that secret chrome tiger camo many months ago. But I still thank you guys for tuning in. But for those of you who do find it a struggle, I'm going to help you today to get that gold leopard and gold cheetah camos unlocked for the shovel. Now hopefully you guys on your way to getting the shovel up to gold camo have been prestiging the weapon up. Unlike me, I didn't bother guys at the time, but each time you prestige the weapon up, as you know, there are four prestiges in total. At prestige one, you're gonna rock the clan tag, prestige two, the kill counter, and you will also need, as you probably know, to get the shovel to weapon level 11 every prestige. If you still have yet to get the gold camo, I'm gonna leave a link to that now, guys. Now you should know by now that it's when you get to Prestige 3 that the first of our new gold camo challenges will be revealed. And once you reach this prestige you would have been battering many opponent by then and hopefully got used to the shovel. Okay so for the gold leopard camo at Prestige 3 you're going to be required to get 50 backstabber medals. Now as I said by this stage you probably will find that you have been earning many a backstabber medal already. But obviously none of those backstabbers will count until the actual challenge has been revealed. Now I'm going to go through with you my setup very shortly, but next let's move on to getting the weapon level up to level 11 again and let's now get the challenge revealed for the gold cheetah camo. So once you reach prestige 4, you're going to then find that you probably should have already had the backstabber medals completed by them, so you can then concentrate on the last challenge. But don't worry guys, if you haven't by this stage completed the backstabber challenge, once you get to prestige 4, just complete it whenever you can really as there's no time limit. But the challenge for the gold cheater is very easy. We need to get two rapid kills 25 times. Now when I see this, I could not believe how simple this challenge was. I think it would have been more challenging for us to get fury kills, and that still would have been reasonably easy. But anyways, two rapid kills 25 times is what it is. So I'm now gonna show you guys my setup and hopefully I'll give you a decent setup that made it easy for me. Then in turn, hopefully making it easy for you. I'll start off with the division. Now ages ago Mountain was awesome at sneaking around the maps and getting up close and personal with the enemy and getting all the kills you wanted very easily. Now I'm going to recommend that you guys play on the Shipment 1944 map as always, but since Shipment 1944 map came out, there is unfortunately no point having Mountain equipped as you're going to be seen regardless if you have Mountain on or not. So Mountain doesn't really work efficiently anymore on the Shipment 1944 map. So I wanted to choose something that was going to give me speed, agility and quicker reactions. So Airborne really helped me with the way that I wanted to go into battle. This is going to turn you into a bullet train and so will let you steam around the map most of the time uncontested. The idea is to catch the opposition out and surprise them with the element of pace. Okay so with Airborne equipped we had our speed and better agility but also we needed to melee as fast as we were moving. So I selected the serrated basic training. Now remember guys, you can at this stage select something completely different to the setup that I had. That decision is up to you. So serrated will make us melee faster and take our shovel as a primary weapon. So you don't have to keep swapping over to your secondaries anymore, which is great. Also, we get the luxury of having two throwing knives and two tacticals, which will really help with getting a grip on the game and get you extra kills where you may not have done if you didn't have them to use. Now I use tacticals and throwing knives all the time guys as I'm showing you here. I'm using the British number 69 but you can choose something different if you wish. But they do slow the enemy down allowing you to then get extra kills with the throwing knives or with the shovel. But mix it up guys and use them whenever you want really. You will probably find that you will use this more through the prestige and stage as remember when you do come to the gold leopard and gold cheetah camo challenges getting kills with throwing knives or tacticals will not add to the challenge requirements. But do use the throwing knives guys as they are there for you to enjoy and the more you use them the more you will become a master with them. Okay so I'm just going to get the last couple of kills here guys with the throwing knives and you can actually see how beneficial using the tacticals if you are going to use them yourself can actually be. Okay so let's move on now then to what shovel that you're going to select for your gameplay and it's really up to you depending on what variants that you have. You're going to see me flying around the map with the heroic variant the Eureka 2. 
that's going to give me 15% soldier XP and looks absolutely amazing. But remember that any variant you select is not going to improve your gameplay. They are just for show only and for a little bit of extra XP depending on what variant you select for yourself. And in case you were wondering how I got the heroic Eureka 2, I got it through a lucky supply drop. Alright then guys, let's now go back to the challenges and I'm now going to show you how you can get easy 50 backstabber medals to unlock the gold leopard camo. Now remember that the challenge is to get 50 backstabber medals. This is the medal that you will need to see appear at the top of your screen once you have hit an enemy from behind. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because sometimes you can actually hit an enemy from behind but no medal will appear. You have to make sure that it's a good clean hit from behind so that the medal appears straight after. So in case any of you are unsure what exactly a backstabbing is, I'm going to show you quite a few. Now the idea is that you get up close and personal behind an enemy. And once you get up behind them, you've got to melee them. Simple as that guys. But you have to make sure that the medal appears at the top of your medal feed. Now it all sounds very easy, getting behind an enemy, and it actually is guys. Throughout your gameplay, use your agility and speed that the airborne division has, and use that to force your way to all four corners of the map, and catch out quickly any enemy who has decided to put up a tent there. You're going to find they like hiding behind the jeeps and sometimes the barrels. Now while manoeuvring yourself to all the corners, on the way, use direct pass through the centre and the flanks to get kills along the way. Now you're probably going to find guys that the majority of your kills will be from the front as the enemy heads straight for you. But that's not a problem, as once you have unlocked the challenges for the gold leopard camo, you're going to want to then get the weapon level back to 11 again to unlock the prestige 4 challenge. So any kills from the front mixed in with backstabber medals at this stage guys is all going to be okay. Now just to give you a rough guide, I was getting anywhere between 8 to 15 backstabber medals a game so you should be able to unlock the gold leopard camo in roughly 5 games. But don't worry if it takes you longer as again there is no time limit. If I can help you any further, a little trick that I always do guys is if you do find that you struggle to get up behind the enemy is when running straight for an enemy, just before you melee them in the face, jump and then melee. I find then when jumping you can slightly turn to face the back of the enemy and that then can add a few backstabber medals where you probably wouldn't have normally got them. Now I thought I'd better mention this as well guys but don't even think about going for the backstabber medals when any of your opposition has the shield on their back. The shovel will not even bang against it. It's like the enemy is invisible so try avoid wasting time when you notice an enemy with a shield on their back. Okay, so now swiftly moving on to the gold cheater camo challenge. Now getting two rapid kills as I said at the start is super easy. I'm not going to show you double kills as that's just a waste of time. So I'm actually going to help you to get triple kills and beyond. But if you get double kill, triple kill, fury kill medals with all the kills coming from your shovel then they're all going to add to the challenge. Now as you can see on that after action report there I got a total of 16 rapid kills with the shovel. That's in one game, so only another 9 more needed which I completed in the next game after this. So the challenge should only take you about 2 games to complete guys, but the Airborne Division and Serrated Basic Training is helping us achieve these results. Now quickly going back to what I said at the start about throwing knives. Remember you can still get kills with throwing knives as long as it does not interrupt your feed of rapid kills. And in this case it's double kills that we're after. So as long as you at some point get two rapid kills with your shovel, either side of the double kills you can get a kill with another piece of equipment if you wish. Or you have the choice to not use tacticals or throwing knives at all. And that way then you have peace of mind that all rapid kills are going to be coming from your shovel. But that would then prevent you from having a bit of fun. But that's up to you guys what you prefer to do. Okay guys, so let me now see if I can help you get rapid kills a little bit more easier. And to be honest, I would say not to change too much in the way that you were playing, like how you got the backstabber medals, and every way that you've been playing up till now, obviously prestige and the shovel up. That you can use to gain all your speed and agility of the airborne division, run into all four corners when you can, catch out the enemy who have decided to put up a tent with their LMGs and go and batter them guys. You will find that the speed that you have, no enemy will even have the time to fire upon you. As always, use your map in the top left, look out for where the blips are and head to your next victim. I do just like to keep running and I get myself stuck into battle so give that a go guys, see if that works for you. You will find that you will die from time to time but get yourself spawned back into action again and go get that revenge. Well I hope that I have today helped you guys in some way to unlock both the gold leopard and the gold cheated camos for the US shovel. Let me know as always guys if there is a weapon that you're struggling with to unlock a camo for and I'll try my best to help you. But in the next video 
I have another request to help get the Gold Leopard and the Gold Cheetah camos unlocked for the LMG, the Bren. So expect Frenzy and a lot of Super, Mega and Ultra kills along the way with that one. So hopefully you guys will join me for that. But until then, thanks for tuning in today, guys. Please like if you have enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to subscribe for more Call of Duty content. I've been Spartan G Gaming. You guys have been amazing for tuning in today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.